कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे सोरे की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन टुडे वी गॉट अ लॉट मोर न्यूज अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स वी गॉट अनदर लुक एट द मैप न्यू टीजर्स वर आल्सो गोना टॉक अबाउट ट्रेलर नंबर टू फॉर जीटीएस सिक्स जीटीएस सिक्स ऑनलाइन व्हाट अबाउट द लुसिया बोर्डा दिस द लुसिया बोर्डा गेट लिंक्ड आउट वंस अगेन वर गोना टॉक अबाउट इट इज द गेम गोना बी वोक इज इट नॉट गोना बी वोक लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू डू नॉट वांट जीटीएस सिक्स बीइंग वोक डिसलाइक द वीडियो इफ यू वांट इट बीइंग वोक बट चेक दिस आउट एंड वेट फॉर द क्लाइमेक्स गाइस रोल इट एंड एवरी डे समथिंग अनएक्सपेक्टेड रिलेटेड टू दिस गेम हैपेंस न्यू लीक्ड इन Info, a lot of rumors, new Easter oh, eggs damn. found in the trailer. So with yo, I'm not sure if you guys saw that uh, or not. Don't rewind it though, but like, uh, or maybe rewind it. I don't know. Without wasting your time, Did let's you get straight into it. People on the GTA 6 subreddit are buzzing about one of the first trailer scenes featuring Jason's car. Specifically, they're talking about the stickers on the back of his car because oh, one looks similar to the shape of Florida. <laughs> of course, the stickers oh, were noticed bro, just after the trailer dropped. But for some reason, it's only now after this post that people have started to Yeah, so apparently the GTA 6 detectives they saw this and now this is uh, and they're saying that this is how big the map is going to be. Truly wild if that turns out to be true. Guessing them and the more they analyze it, the crazy it gets. Wait, One right, of the yes. users made a compilation of all 31 frames in this scene, focusing just on that sticker and even adjusted the contrast and brightness on each one to better see the outline. I mean, even after seeing all these images, there's no way to be sure what's on this sticker. But yeah. the redditors have some theories. It may be the Florida Panhandle, the northern part of Florida that extends west to the border with Alabama. It also looks extremely similar to a million other things because people are even comparing it to the Conch Republic flag. And while yeah. both seem possible, I think the first one is more likely correct. One of the users users literally redrew the sticker and it turned out to look like this <laughs> and after putting it next to the jeep yeah honestly bro it does look like it but it's like holy crap right we're like what four months in since we ended up getting the GTA 6 trailer and a look at the Lucia Bernardo but like Damn! After four months, they're discovering that this is how good I mean. I mean, that's that's insane, man. That's TA six mapping project. It looks very similar, except for the fact that the team working on the map, based on the leaks and the trailer, did not include the panhandle on yeah. their map because it simply wasn't leaked anywhere and wasn't visible in the trailer as a location. To be honest, I'll be thrilled if this sticker turns out to I be agree. a representation of. I mean, listen. I I I guess nobody would mind like a bigger map if like there are secret islands as well, dude. I so want to see like secret islands. Like the video if you agree. Basically, you know, just like. How we had North Yankton in GTA 5. I want to see different islands that are not visible on the map, and they only becomes visible, or, or like let's just say, sort of becomes unlocked when you visit them, and then they are forever on your map. I think that would be cool, though. Like the video if you agree. And bigger map equals, I mean, Lucia Bruna is gonna be able to maneuver around much more easily if that makes sense, guys. The yeah. actual game map, because obviously, the more locations there are to explore, the better. The concept made by the mapping project community is already huge and dense, even though it's. Created from just small bits of info, and ultimately, there will be many more locations. Recently, I was thinking about how good the animations in GTA 6 will be. Yeah. I know leaks have shown a lot, but we must remember that everything was still in development. The developers were working on ironing out the glitches while recording the leaked videos, so we can't form any judge. Quite frankly, I don't know like if this game is gonna be too woke though. Like seeing all that Bruna and the Get though, it looks kind of normal-ish. And we were saying when they first revealed the trailer that GTA 6 is, <laughs> they need to change their name to Get. Theft Auto 6, right? But uh, where are you guys at? We're gonna talk more about as to what happened recently. Judgments uh, based on these. I recently came across a video of an upcoming parkour video game called Storer Parkour Pro, and I'll be honest, the first thing I thought while watching it was like, damn, I wish GTA 6 had this level of parkour animations. I mean, damn. we still don't yeah. know if Rockstar is planning to focus on parkour in the upcoming game. They haven't confirmed or denied anything about it anywhere, but looking at their previous games, it seems unlikely to me. GTA 4 had a really good system for. Climbing buildings, and even though it wasn't as advanced as what you <laughs> yeah. see in this video, it was still incredible technology back in 2008. In yeah, GTA 5, yeah, yeah, they yeah. moved away from this idea, and the animations became much more simplified. That's why I think it's not likely that the upcoming GTA will focus on parkour in any way. But who knows? Maybe Rockstar will surprise us. Also, take and, and I don't think like many people would. If it's not, people won't be like, "Yeah, I mean, how dare you guys didn't add the parkour?" With, with GTA, like, it's not really about that. But if they do add, I, I think it would be really, really. Good. Look at these cloth animations. They look just like real life. But in this case, I think there's nothing to worry about for GTA 6 because the first trailer already showed a glimpse of this system and it looked really good as well. Going further, the 25th anniversary artwork for Rockstar Games was just leaked and it's oh, packed yeah, with so awesome. many incredible details, including possible hints at GTA 6. As Moore's Mutual posted on X, it appears to originate from a now deleted post on the GTA forums, but okay. it's still unclear if it was removed due to the leak of that image or the information leaked in 
in the post. Dutch05, the forum user who posted it, mentioned that his friend is currently employed at Rockstar North, serving as a physics programmer. According to him, the game won't be ready for release next year due to significant- Man! Bro, if V don't get GTA 6 in 2025, bro, I'll become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet. On God, bro. December 32nd, okay? The day we have December 32nd, that's when. Not before, not after, all right? Le Bruh. Guys, come on, man. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, we, we gotta wait till the end, because you never know. They might drop GTA 6 on December the 31st, you know what I'm saying? And if they do, then I'm not gonna become a monk. But if they don't, I'm gonna become a monk on December 32nd, okay? Uh, but what are the odds that it's gonna come out in 2025? Do you think it's gonna get delayed to 2026, guys? concerns at the physical level. Consequently, he's contemplating a job offer with a more lucrative salary elsewhere. In terms of actual gameplay experience, there are no discernible differences compared to GTA 5, okay. and in fact it may even come across as somewhat tedious due to the constraints of the development Brave. timeline. Many systems Brave. have been directly recycled from the previous generation of games with minimal of alterations. Moreover, the current frame rate is consistently below 15, exhibiting considerable hey, instability, and this holds true for the PC version as well. So there's no confirmation if this info is indeed real or not, but the post- Bruh, no, bro. If it turns out- <laughs> Yo, yeah, if it turns out 15 FPS, bro, gamers are gonna end everyone, bro. Gamer, bro, it's gonna start WW5 on the internet, bro. Le let's be real. We do not want Cyberpunk, like, yo, you guys remember when Cyberpunk was 15 FPS, bro? I remember that was absolutely wild, though. Holy crap. And But that was on PS4. And I believe like PS5 and Xbox Series X, they did 30 FPS, and later on they had an, they had dropped the next gen patch, and that made it 60 FPS. I could be wrong. I believe it was was it 60 FPS from the get go though uh, on the PS5. That I don't remember, but I know like for PS4 and Xbox One, it was capped at 60, but it was doing. 15 FPS. It was doing 15 FPS. So if they said now, nah, bro, that's capped. This gotta be capped. Most in the attached image are gone, but for now let's focus on the artwork because it features references to all Rockstar Games productions, and as okay. I mentioned before, it even includes some GTA 6 hints. The first thing that caught my eye was the vehicles at the bottom. On the right side, there's a car that closely resembles the Banshee, but as one of the X users noticed, it doesn't seem to match the one we currently have in GTA 5. The way the front fender line swoops up into the- Yeah, shoddy kinda hot though, shoddy kinda- <laughs> Shoddy kind of hard though, but now on a real though, what what you guys think on this one? Like, do you think GTA 6 is gonna be woke? One, if yes, two, if not. I really think it's gonna be woke. All right, it's oh, it's gonna be woke. But is it like gonna be too woke? Is it gonna be too little woke? That I cannot tell you. I I guess like for this one, we gotta wait and see. The reason I'm saying this is because of oh, what's happening in the community and in gaming. You guys probably seen what's happening with Sweet Baby Inc. and all that. Uh, and, and it's not just about that. It's also that Rockstar Games has gone back in GTA 5, removed some stuff, censored a lot of stuff, right? So we know that it's gonna be. Now, to what degree? I couldn't tell you that. And, and I truly do, do hope that it's not fully woke to the point where it's pushing agendas down people's throat because people had enough, gamers had enough, don't nobody want to see that, right? But uh, in a game like GTA, come on, dog. Like, we've, we've waited 10 plus years for this game. It, I, I think it's going to be a little bit woke, just like how GTA 5 and the older GTA games were. And in real life stuff, uh, I mean, listen, we, we have some, some of that stuff too. So in that aspect, it's perfectly fine. GTA has always been a parody of real life so if they keep it like that and they do not push agendas people would be fine and i think that would be cool you can disagree for sure in the comments and if you do let me know in the comments but uh, for, uh what i'm trying to say here is that i hope it's not like fully woke where they're pushing agendas down everybody's throats and, and they're like hey man change your gender today and all that right uh, yeah we don't want to see that crap uh, most people are like live and let li uh, let people live live and let live right if you identify you can identify as an attack child it's perfectly fine you do you Bruh. but just don't push me to become an attack chopper because I'm not an attack chopper okay I cannot be that all right so uh, yeah most people uh, don't want to see that crap but well, where are you guys at with it what you guys think and trailer 2 GTA 6 trailer 2 seriously I think we're gonna see you trailer to either this summer or by the end of this year and it depends though if this game is not coming out early 2025 like a lot of people are assuming I think we're not gonna get the trailer uh, then, and then we should be getting the trailer like summertime right if the game is coming out by the end of 2025 then I think they're gonna 
probably gonna drop the trailer September, October, November, maybe even December of this year. So by the end of this year, technically, I think that's basically where we at right now with the thoughts. The door and the hood vents look different, so maybe it's a new version of the Banshee we will see the in Banshee. GTA 6. This aligns with what we've already seen in the trailer, where plenty of GTA 5 cars that appeared have been completely remodeled. Also at the bottom of the artwork, there are John and Arthur's hats and possibly Cole Phelps' badge in the middle. There's also a flamingo, which could either be from Red Dead Redemption 2 or, or GTA, GTA 6, 6 yeah. the GTA 5 cover girl, Trevor's teddy bear, Chop's collar tag, the Statue of Happiness from GTA 4, and much more. Rockstar North, widely known as Rockstar Games and previously called DMA Design, has released Holy 38 crap. projects since 1998, all of which belong to various IPs. The leaked yeah. artwork... 38 till 2018, right? <laughs> Oh uh, man, okay, and 37 probably all the way back in 2013. You did they re uh, did nah, I, Rockstar did not release any game after Red Dead Redemption 2, right? GTA 5 in 2013, then Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, and that's it, right? Take 2 obviously did release other games, but these things did not, right? Unless I'm mistaken, maybe they released like a smaller project, maybe like a mobile game. I mean, technically, GTA Trilogy, the defective edition. <gasps> Yeah, but it wasn't really made by Rockstar Games, so we do not count that. Other than that, do you guys, uh, am I missing something? Perfectly portrays the history of the studio. Let me know if you noticed any more interesting hints in this image in the comments down below. But not all news about GTA 6 is that optimistic. Rockstar recently posted a new article on their newswire about all the benefits of GTA Plus membership. There were, of course, some nice updates, as Rockstar said they recently added Red Dead Redemption with access to Undead Nightmare to the stellar games included with GTA Plus library. Members can also look forward to more Rockstar classics becoming available later this year, including L.A. Noir and Bully. They also announced the huge oh, Summer GTA Online update, what? which, according to many, could be the last big DLC before GTA oh, 6 yee. comes out, with both actors of Michael and Franklin teasing their involvement in it. But what I wanted to talk about is the impact GTA Plus could have on the upcoming game. Tylarius, one of the GTA YouTubers, posted this tweet, Just as I predicted, the business bonuses are moving towards GTA Plus, and it's slowly Bruh. turning into a pay-to-win model. You all are Man. being groomed for GTA 6, and you're falling for it in real time. Most of you don't even need this. You got yeah. plenty of money in game and you are okay man like who are oh, any of you buying the gta plus any of you guys <laughs> buying? man this is absolutely wild like wild bro like single player multiplayer then it's like a fully priced game obviously then it's like microtransactions uh, shark cards and upping the grind so sickers buy like more shark cards uh reducing the pay you know like and now these things got gta plus as well and, and they are only gonna up this because they are seeing a lot more people buy i, I know sounds yeah sounds crazy but like a take two boss has said it numerous times in their earnings call that people love it people love it people buy it and we make money uh i know some of you are gonna say bull crap and he lying guys uh, okay but like they are legally not they cannot lie legally do especially during financial calls because they can get sued and, and you know what the, the, the investors can sue them and all that like they are not they cannot lie legally so when they give out numbers about hey how much money they made with gta plus it's it's facts though especially in their earnings call because that's like business and all that like they are legally required to talk about it publicly and let their stockholders know about it right so when they say gta plus is selling very good and people love it people people not everybody loves it let's be real but surely people love it enough to the point where they would spend their hard-earned money on gta plus and uh, make no mistake bro like uh, because of people buying gta plus all of this crap is gonna be in gta 6 as well so microtransactions 2.0 guys get ready for that with paying for the content we used to get for in game challenges that did not separate the community next Fabulous. i predict a rebrand and price hike to $11. And well, oh it made me somewhat God. worried about GTA 6. Take yeah, 2, Rockstar right. Games' parent company, is dead. It is over, guys. It is over. Could you imagine GTA Plus 2, bro? <laughs> Definitely aiming to make as much money as possible from this franchise. And GTA Plus is one of the elements of their plan to earn millions over the coming years. Oh, I wonder man, if this yeah. could actually have a negative impact on GTA 6 and its online mode. In an oh, ideal absolutely. world, Rockstar should not add any GTA Plus benefits or shark cards into GTA 6 online for but at least gonna. the first year of the game's existence. To understand why the upcoming game shouldn't have shark cards, we need to go over the history of GTA Online and how it changed over the years. In short, cash cards made the game boring and grindy with 
with a pay to win theme. To begin with, GTA Online. Grindy, okay, that's the first time, man. Shout out to this AI. It's grindy, my brother. It's grindy, my brother. Is a paid game as players must purchase GTA 5 to access its multiplayer features. But no, However, I agree. Rockstar still decided to include microtransactions in it. Now, microtransactions in a paid game are usually frowned upon by most gamers, but there weren't that many complaints about it. Since players could buy anything the game offered without grinding too much, microtransactions were just an afterthought. The most expensive property, Eclipse Towers, cost just $400,000, oh, while the fastest car, Trufade Adder, was $1 million. <laughs> there were also only four oh. shark cards back then, ranging from yeah. $100,000 to $1,250,000. But here's the thing, right? Initially, like, they didn't really thought through, right? This is why they kept the property prices down. And later on, when they realized, oh, holy crap, <gasps> we can actually... You know, nickel and dime over customers and players though, by like upping the, the, the cars prices and all that crap and later on, you know, uh, 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 reduces the pay of the jobs and the online missions. So people therefore are gonna have to, you know, struggle or, or either you want to struggle Play the game 24-7 or buy our shark cards here. Look at that. $100 and you get the Megalodon shark card, right? I mean, these suckers are crazy, bro. And if you think that they're not gonna do it from the get-go in GTA 6 Online, I mean, you're naive, bro. Like, they are gonna do it. Let's be real. I, I would be... I, I think I would be shocked and I hope uh, this happens. I wanna be shocked. Let's be real. But I would be shocked if it turns out that they do not have microtransactions day one in gta 6 bro this is gonna happen you know it already deep down guys like it's gonna dollars happen. but with each new update rockstar began to add more expensive in-game items some of which were affordable only after hours of grinding they yeah. added more sh not hours bro days months bro dark like. cards with the <laughs> highest value card offering oh. eight million dollars this value Damn. has since increased by 20 percent and a gta oh, wow. plus membership offers an additional 15 percent oh, wow. bonus value when you buy a shark card. What this means is that GTA Online has a massive pay-to-win aspect to it. Players who pay large amounts of real-life money don't need to grind their way to the top. Meanwhile, every new update has also forced a price creep. For example, there's always some new fast or feature-rich vehicle with a higher price tag than the last best, best vehicle. vehicle. The same applies to properties, with more lucrative ones costing much more. The last two updates, the Chop Shop and the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, added some ridiculously expensive purchasable cop cars that cost Cost between three to even five and a half million dollars. I'm really worried that GTA 6 online mode will follow the same monetization format with rapid inflation following each content update. This it's is why shark worse. cards are a bad idea for the upcoming games. It's gonna be even worse, and you guys gotta understand the way they are seeing it is that they know Sega's gonna buy the game, <laughs> they know everybody's gonna play the game, and they realize that. In the very beginning, that's where the the biggest opportunity ever is gonna ever gonna be because day one most of my people and then eventually it's gonna go down right obviously gta 5 knowing gta 5 and if gta 6 is quality and if it's good yeah bro it, like this game is gonna be around for a decade okay i'm not talking about that the game is gonna do well day one and then it's gonna die a month later no 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 it's not gonna happen with gta 6 unless the game is really terrible it with gta this game is gonna last another decade okay and, and but but they still but they still realize that day one is gonna be their biggest opportunity to make money at least like the first month the entire month that's when they're gonna make the most amount of money and then later on they're they're still gonna make a lot of money don't get me wrong but day one it's like day a uh, uh, week one first month everybody's buying it everybody's buying it everybody's jumping on and everybody's like uh, playing the game for the first time the idea is fresh the game is fresh everything is novel everything is new uh, and, and jumping in the online for the first time you won't be able to beat that feeling like uh, a year later because a year later everything would be old everything would be like whatever and seconds would be like hey where's gta 7 where we need gta 7 y you know what i mean right so day one is like they will be able to easily convert people to buy the shark cards now if it happens to be that the game gets a lot of content right a lot of content and they do not have crazy microtransactions like the shark cards or they develop a system where you know what 5.99 a month or whatever right you buy this gta plus and you can get all the content and, and you then don't have to worry about like spending or buying shark cards then okay five dollars a month subscriptions are bad like I'm 100% on this side, but like I'm trying to make it like less bad in a way because seriously, I, I I know most of you would be like, yo, Skizzle, just say no to microtransactions. Yes, I'm all up for that, but guys, realistically, 
they're not gonna do it, bro. They're they're not gonna do it. So I'm just trying to find. <laughs> this is like a coping. This is coping. I'm coping, basically. That's what you say realistically. But but seriously and realistically, I'm trying to be logical here. I I, I hope that they they don't go too crazy and, and make like a system where you know with the GTA Plus, then you get everything that you need and you don't have to necessarily go out of your way and spend like a hundred dollars every update getting yourself that top of the line shark card eight million dollars or whatever how much ever they're gonna do later on i'm not sure uh, I, I i don't want that crap hundred dollars or five dollars a month i would go with five dollars a month and you can always cancel it but regardless either way they're gonna do what they what they want to do right and guys recently we had this video this is a true next gen look at the this is gonna be a true next gen game guys click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there